in New York City for the 2024 annual Tribeca Film Festival. Today we've been invited to an epic red carpet event for not just one movie, but for multiple movies that are premiering tonight. The cast and crew are heading down the red carpet and we're getting ready to chat with them. How are you guys doing right now? Uh, excellent, thank you. We're very excited to be here. Yeah, so how, uh, how excited are you to be at Tribeca? I mean, it's a, it's a really great accomplishment. It's a dream come true. We've, you know, we've been, uh, this is a story 40 years in the making and to finally have this uh, public venue to, to present it to the world is, is just means the world to us. Can you tell me a little bit about what the movie's about? Well, have you ever heard of Michael Jordan? I have, I have. Have you ever heard of Life Magazine? Have you seen the picture in Life Magazine that initially started the whole thing? Yes, I have. That is what it, that's so where it all co-created a, a portrait of Michael Jordan that then Nike saw and asked for a copy of it. And he sent them a copy, but then he said, you cannot uh, copy this or make any duplicates. They went ahead and did their own version. They copied him and the Jumpman logo came out of that. And they never gave pro credit, and that was, you know, uh, so our film really is, after all these years, uh, to try to really show people where this image came from. It has become such an icon known the world over. Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's very iconic. I mean, I, I live in Chicago right now, so obviously I'm a fan of the Bulls and Michael Jordan, so, yeah, I think it's such an iconic logo, I guess, and it's, uh, I'm really glad that, you know, we're finally getting some recognition. <laughs> so I'm here with the stand-in for Michael Jordan right now, so uh, how do you feel to be at Tribeca? Right now. Um, well, it's my first time and it's great. You know, it's great. I love the experience. It's been nothing but love. I'm from LA, California, so you know, coming to New York all the time is always good. And um, yeah, it's great. Honestly, I can't wait to watch the film, check it out. So much hard work has been put into it, and um, you know, I see so much, you know, so many press outlets like you guys are doing amazing. So it's good to it's good to be here. You know. Can you tell me a little bit uh, what the movie is about? So, Tom Dye, an amazing director, his father-in-law took a, a famous photo of Michael Jordan doing the ballerina Jumpman pose, which is like, you know, his famous Jumpman logo, him dunking. So um, it was, I don't, was pretty much stolen by Nike, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go out and say it was pretty much stolen by Nike. So um, this is just kind of the real story behind it. So um, when Nike sees this movie, what do you think their reaction's gonna be? Um, I think they're gonna realize the truth. They're gonna realize the truth and um, it's gonna be a great reaction. I think it's gonna be over. Oh, <laughs> I think I can leave it at that. I think it's gonna be a great reaction. Um, there's a lot of facts in this movie. A lot of, you know, good evidence and it's just informative. You know, what I mean, so it's gonna be a great reaction from anybody who watches it. Um, I'm here with the director right now. So, how do you feel uh, to be at Tribeca? Uh, I, nothing short of extraordinary. It feels really good to be here. Uh, can you tell me a little bit uh, what the movie's about? Yeah. Um, the film is Motorcycle Mary, and it's about the first female mot road motorcyclist in the United States, Mary McGee. Um, and it's about her story in the automotive sport. She also road raced cars, motorcycles, and dirt bikes. Um, and she was kicked out of road racing sports and took to motocross. Um, so it's about sexism in motorsports in the 1950s and 60s. It's about optimism in the face of adversity. Um, and there's a family story as well. Um, uh, that's about her and her relationship with her brother who really helped her open some doors in, in motorsports. I think that that's such an inspirational story, you know, and the fact that the real Mary was just here, yes. that's really amazing. Yes. Yes. So, did she help out at all with the film? Oh, I mean, I mean, the, the film is Mary McGee. Right. So, I mean, she was so lovely to work with. I mean, in terms of uh, just completely open-hearted, vulnerable, um, is true to her character, the way she is in the film, and so optimistic and inspirational. It's just like, she is the way she is off camera, uh, the way she is on camera, so she's just a lovely human being to be around. So what is the most uh, challenging part of capturing her and her story in this movie? I think one of the things that was really hard about this movie was um, it took place during the 1950s and 60s, so we've captured a lot of archival footage. And so um, grabbing, getting that, finding records of, uh, of things that were going on in the 1950s and 60s to fact check was probably the biggest challenge. Um, but luckily we have great producers and a great team to be able to put that together. So uh, now that that's over with, what was your favorite part of uh, making this movie? I mean, I, I, 
I, going back to Mary, I think I just like, I happen to also make a very unlikely friend and I, I love being around her and she was super lovely. And so I think like the silver lining for me is not only the movie, but got a great friendship out of it and really love to be, to be able to work with the people I was able to work with. That's really incredible. Okay, well one last thing, what is one thing you want audiences to take away? I think, I think um, I want young women to be able to see that they can do anything and I think anyone that sees this film will be able to see that they can have optimism in the face of adversity. I think there's so many films that I've personally worked on where um, you talk about a challenge or something and there, there's not necessarily a happy ending and I think with Mary there's, there's a lot of adversity she faces and I don't necessarily know that there's a happy ending but she maintains a positive outlook on life which I think everybody can take something away from. I think that's a really great message. Well, yeah. thank you so much yes. for talking with yeah. me. Thanks for having me. Congrats on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. My name's Kat. Hi, Kat. I'm Cal. <laughs> Close. So, uh, how do you feel to be a Tribeca right now? Oh, I feel incredible. We were shooting this film like a year ago, and then one year later we're here, so it's just awesome to be a part of this event and get to celebrate the work that went into making this film. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> How's your experience at Tribeca been so far? Oh, it's been incredible. The energy is great. There are a ton of people that have, again, put all this work into their products, and now we get to celebrate. So happy to be here. Yes. Well, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about the movie? Yeah, absolutely. It's called Out of the Dark, Cal Calamia. I'm Cal, as we talked about. Um, and the film is really about me and my gender transition and my mental health, my relationship with running. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's about me. I love yeah, it. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so can you tell me what was your favorite part about making this movie? I think just like telling the story, like telling the story that has like made me who I am and like using that as a vehicle to hopefully inspire other people to choose to be authentic to who they are and keep doing the things they love. Um, and also we were running around in San Francisco shooting these epic shots of the city and if you know anything about SF it's like so hilly yes. but it's worth it to get to the top of those hills and have the views and I feel like that's a beautiful metaphor for life itself so <laughs> it really is so speaking I guess of metaphors what is one thing you want audiences to take away from this movie the most important thing that you can do in your life is be yourself and stay true to who you are so that would be what I hope folks took away I think that's a really great message that anybody needs. So thank you so much for talking with me. Of course. Thank you so much for the questions. Yes. <laughs> well, that's going to do it today for the red carpet at Tribeca. We talked to cast and crew from numerous films, some releasing this year and some releasing in 2025. So keep an eye out. I know we will. From the Tribeca Film Festival in New York, I'm Kat from Kids First. See you later. Bye. <laughs>